Well, okay, try to do a little walk around. See some of the a little dent here. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, that little dent there where somebody stuck up something too far up on the battery. See the glass is pretty good. It's all excellent. The little uh, boomerang things are rusted on both sides. Pitted, not rusted. A little rust here in this section. This is probably one of the three bad spots on the car. It's one, another little spot here. And eventually when I make it to the other door, you'll see the other door. The lower valance has been beat up a little bit. Kind of straightened it out, but you can see that little spacers I have in there. It's not really noticeable. There's a quite defect in the body, a small defect in the body work on that little hump in the door. I don't even see it on the video. There's the rust or spot on the whole car. Let's see if I can get under the car. The exhaust is 50 million little pieces are welded together. So you can get new manual conversion tie rod in. Zero bump steer kit. This door, this door drops down a little bit and needs new pins. It has this little light surface rust here. I do have some touch-up paint. The dash pad is excellent. Little white gauge, <coughs> white face gauges. Little aftermarket gauges. Nothing real expensive. The seat's completely reupholstered. Front one. The rear one's still excellent. New carpets front and rear. Have a little. Uh, Shelby style traction devices. The rear bumper has a little rip on Brand new gas tank. Exhaust exits right by the rear end. Got new shocks all the way around. That's the Cobra disc brakes. Trunk's excellent. There's no rust. Thirteen-inch rotors on the front. The little factory air. The air conditioner works pretty well. It blows the fuse if you put it into high. I guess that <coughs> could be a little neater under the hood, and that I didn't repaint anything when I had the motor out, but I plan on being a driver. I have a unique ignition setup. The HEI distributor is a one wire, and I'm actually firing a relay that sends 14 volts to the ignition system. It runs pretty well that way. Polished uh, compressor on the air conditioner, 105 amp alternator, which would actually need to be flipped down to be able to hook the heater back up. The belt's a little loose. You get the wires for the automatic transmission cooler. 
lines rather. Nice radiator out of brand new. It's either a rebuilt or a new master cylinder, I don't remember. New carburetor, new intake, new cheap breather, new water pump, new air conditioner evaporator. Everything air conditioner wise from here is brand new. Now the in-dash stuff is all original. New shocks. Oh, there's a dent in the roof, too. So you can see it from here. Yep, there. Uh, maybe a professional painless dent remover or something can get it out. You see, the real reason I want to sell it is because I want to get a Hummer like the next door neighbor.